Hey everyone, I'm Zach and welcome to our five day school week. This is your Blue Devil News. Students, please remember the bank is only open during lunch. You can pay with cash or check at the bank for things like prom, senior fee, Lebanon t-shirts, senior yard signs, and parking passes. Also, prom tickets have increased to $50. Also, if you're bringing someone to prom who does not attend LHS, you must complete the appropriate paperwork that is available outside of the bank. Graduation will be held on May 22nd here on the football field at 10 a.m. and each senior is allowed to give out eight tickets. As long as we're able to maintain a traditional school schedule, we plan on having one ceremony for the entire class to graduate together. If you have not paid the $75 graduation fee, please do so immediately. Also, our Blue Devil News is developing senior videos, so go to LHS website and click on the Senior Salutes link to submit your information. Don't be left out. Go click before you forget. There are several scholarships due and guidance has communicated this through mind. The Chamber of Commerce has six local scholarships due April 9th. The Pepsi-Cola scholarship application is due April 16th, and this scholarship will be awarded to an LHS senior. Whitner Memorial Scholarship is a new scholarship for an LHS athlete for $1,500, and this is one simple essay, which is due April 15th. Lebanon Breakfast Rotary Scholarship for a Cumberland Bound student is due May 5th. This is an excellent opportunity as it awards $2,000 per year on top of Teen Promise funds. Don't miss out on free money for college, and if you have any questions, See guidance or find the link by going to LHS homepage, then selecting counseling. If you are interested in joining the Color Guard during this fall marching season and miss last week's meeting, you can still come to tryouts. They will be held on Friday this week from 3.30 to 6 p.m. in the band room. If you have any questions, please ask Mr. Chanel or Mr. Amos. This Saturday, senior theater students are performing their one-act plays at 5 p.m. in the LHS theater. You're probably wondering what a one-act play looks like, so here are theater students to tell us more. Hi, my name is Jamie. I've been in theater for four years, and I'm super sad that we can't do a musical this year, but you can get to see our one acts, and it's free, so there should be no excuse not to see them. Now, what are one acts? They're 30, well, 20 to 30 minute plays. Um, when are they? They are April 10th at 5 p.m., so come down and see them. You'll enjoy them, I promise. Hi, my name is Wade Matthews. Uh, my one act is called That'll Be 7-Eleven. Uh, it's about a group of people that get stuck inside a 7-Eleven. Uh, they think there might be some weird supernatural things, maybe ghosts. So I'd love to see you all there. Uh, please come by. Hi, I'm Joe Johnson. I wrote the trip for my one act. Um, basically, it is about this woman and her husband going to her mother's funeral, and she basically gets there and finds out she had a twin sister she never knew about. Uh, so they arrange a little fun get-to-know-you camping trip, and things get really dark really fast. It's also a like thriller drama. So yeah, you should come see it. Hi, my name is Jamie Wood. Like I said before, my play is The Audition. It's a drama. Um, basically, these actors go to an audition to audition for a show, but when they get there, someone dies, so they think they are locked in with a killer. So hands, fingers start being pointed, people start going crazy, and people may start dying. Who knows? If you want to figure out, come and see my show. Thank you. Hi, I'm Taylor Hulse, and my one act is The Graveyard Boys. And basically, it's about these three boys and them grieving after the death of their best friend and solving the murder. Lots of crazy things go on. You should come and watch them. Hi, They're my name is Trinity Todd, and my one act is I Spy. It's an action comedy. It's your basic spy story. It has action, romance, a supervillain, and you in the audience, April 10th. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, it's this Saturday. Admission is free, but masks are required.
There will be an FFA meeting Tuesday, April 13th at 6 to 8 in the Ag Department, a GSA meeting today in room B213 from 3 to 345, and a student council meeting on Thursday if you're interested in being on the movie night committee for student council. Come to the library after school this Thursday. And remember, FCA meets every Thursday at 7.30 in the theater. Cafe will be open tomorrow and Thursday for breakfast. Please place your orders as early as possible for each class. Your books are still on sale for $90. Pre-orders have ended, so we are currently selling remaining stock and do not anticipate having extras. We sold out last year and expect to do so this year as well. Orders can be placed using school cash or on yearbookforever.com. And that's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Zach, and this has been news to you from the white and blue.